So I'm walking near the National Stadium and this is of course the famous Olympic emblem. Um, so recently there have been quite a turmoil uh, in the field of uh, Japanese Olympics and Mr. Mori, the chairperson of the organizing committee, made a remark which could be taken as uh, discriminatory against uh, females and uh, naturally there was an uproar and uh, Mr. Mori, the former prime minister, expressed his views, uh, his revisions and he expressed his intention to step down as chairperson. And uh, now there are some talks about who should actually succeed him and you know there has been ups and downs and there have been names but uh, nobody is certain to succeed Mr. Mori. So with these turmoils there have been rising doubts within the hearts of the Japanese people as to the value of the Olympics itself. But for me at least this resident in Tokyo um, I think the spirit of the Olympic movement is still pretty much alive. At least, uh, you know, as far as the athletes are concerned, it is, after all, the most prestigious and most highly regarded competition in the sports. And it is what the Olympics is all about, you know. It's not about politicians or, you know, arguments or social disputes. It's about the athletes trying to do his or her best and in that capacity there's no discrimination uh, you know, against gender, ethnicity, age, uh, cultural backgrounds and so on. That's the Olympics. So you know all these talks about uh, the political repercussions of what Mr. Mori said is totally out of the context and this stadium is still there awaiting for the opening ceremony which I very much hope would take place after all these troubles and that would kind of make a clean slate of everything. That is my hope. I know my many of my friends are criticizing the Olympics and they have good reasons to do that. But for me, all these things are perhaps irrelevant when you consider the true spirit of the Olympic movement and higher, faster, and further, that's the spirit, and I think that has relevance in today's world, where everything seems to be in doubt, and you know we lose essence of things in the complex behavior of the world, and you know that is all the reason why we need the Olympic movement, because it would give us a direction to aim for, like the polar star, somewhere in the sky over there.